Welcome back. It's been almost three years since we've done our last video blog. Uh, we've traveled around the world and back again here in Europe waiting for our boat. And the boat's done. Uh, we've been traveling for over a year now. Uh, let's go check it out. Nearly five years since we started our journey. 38 months of design development and 14 months living on board. She's beautiful. Welcome to Blue Saga, or we call it a saga for short. People always ask us why we didn't buy a production boat. It was super important for us to find an environmentally friendly boat that was fast, safe, and comfortable. We wanted electric propulsion with electric generation under sail, enough solar to drive uh, the house power and maybe propulsion as well, and fast, non-polluting anti-following that hopefully lasts for years. We wanted a boat with energy autonomy where we could live off the grid and off fossil fuels. There was no such boat on the market and no big boat builder wanted to work with us on it. So we set out to build our own. One of the first highlights I want to talk about is this 12 solar panels that line the roof of our boat that's capable of generating more than 1.2 kilowatt of power. And on and any sunny day in the summertime, we can generate more uh, power than we can consume for a house power. That includes cooking, uh, cooling, uh, and everything else that we need electricity for on the boat. Okay, let's talk about the electric cell drive system. Uh, the system was provided by Oceanvolt, and the system is called SD15. So they're 15 kilowatts each, and we have two of them on this boat. So that's equivalent to 20 horsepower each. And so far, uh, as we're using the, the last summer, as we're sailing around, that we found that sufficient horsepower for us for most of the conditions we're in. So 40 horsepower and it's super quiet. So one of the things you can't see on this boat is the Mac Light anti-fouling. It's marine friendly. It doesn't leach any harmful chemicals into the marine environment, unlike so many of the other products that are out there. Mac Light, when installed right, lasts up to five years, so it's quite a while, and it's really, really fast. We went all summer last year without any real growth, and then it did really go, we just washed off with a sponge and rack. It's really great. Okay, it's a boat fast. In our first season of sailing through Croatia and Montenegro, we were always the fastest boat on any particular tack. Of course, we were always optimizing our sails and diagonal boards a lot. But even if the other boats weren't racing, it's a good sign that our boat's quite fast. The boat is also quite heavy right now, since so it's set up for long-term circumnavigating and sailing. Uh, it has a washing machine and a water maker, multiple anchors, spare parts of all sorts, tools, safety equipment, jerry cans of fuel, food, supplies, it's quite heavy. And so it was definitely faster when it was first dropped in the water, but we're definitely not complaining. It was designed to be a wind speed boat and it's lived up to it. When you live on a boat full time, every day your boat is your home. So does it feel comfortable? Does it allow you to do everything you want to do to live? Can it feel like a home rather than a boat? So when we set out to build our boat, we milled function and design that was super important to us. We wanted the comfort of the bathroom with a walk-in shower and a full sink and vanity. A living space that we could have dinner for or drinks for eight people. A design that was light and bright like a modern Scandinavian home. A space that could sleep six people or more if family, family and friends want to sleep in the salon or our cockpit. But we really love to cook and entertain. So it's super important for us to have great appliances on this boat. The kitchen is all electric, has full-size cooktops, microwave oven. You could actually cook a turkey in this kitchen if you really wanted to, which is not the case for any of the boats we've been on before of this size. We chose to limit how much gadgets we have on this boat due to weight, but if we didn't, we really could cook anything in this galley. It's quite big. With all the electric cooking equipment, we never worry about filling propane tanks to cook or the safe concerns around them. And on a sunny day, most of our home power comes from the sun. The boat is not only about living, it's also your mode of transportation. This design was done by Francois Perez. It's a safe, stable, and fast design. And it's also quite beautiful. The boat is a performance catamaran, narrow hull, lightweight fiberglass with carbon reinforcements. With major parts like the mast, boom, and forebeam all in carbon. Essentially everything you see in black in this boat, 
is mostly or all carbon. When the boat was getting certified as CE Class A Ocean, the certifier said he had a difficult time trying to deflect the boat enough to achieve 1% helium. He said this is one of the most stable boats they were ever tested. With the integrated tank right at the bottom and the light carbon mass on the top, it's essentially stable by design. One of the key elements of safety of this boat is potentially it's fast enough to avoid some storms and the stability uh, makes it safer for at least the boat's size and heavy seas. But beyond this, uh, the boat comes with typical safety features, which we're constantly updating, that is, uh, that we think we needed for the long passage in the ocean. There's so much to talk about and share about this boat, so I'll try to do over the next several videos a little bit more deep dives and technology reviews of what we adopted in this boat. Such things as the Ocean Volt cell drive, maybe the Sylvian Solar, Vitra Energy System, and maybe the MacLi anti file So click subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more about the boat. We'll catch you next time. All right, ciao.